Up to 140 viewers keep coming in, trickling in, folks. Opening night here at the Dirt Yard. You've seen us on TikTok, all the hard work we've put in. Look at that nice striped pattern. In the infield, we've got the lines freshly painted. The championship uh, banners on the left field wall are up. We've yet to put our 2020 champion banner. That is forthcoming, probably when the noodlers take the field for the first time this year. As you can see uh, in the bottom left corner, in front of our number three gray jersey will be the scoreboard. If you're curious about the score, we'll update that periodically. <clears throat> I will also be typing that in the chat. Too sweet, Kyle. What's up? Hey, how are you on home and away? Back in? But it's 35 bucks an hour. So, I mean, you can probably get it. Ready because we're going to flip up. What are the teams playing? We're playing wiffle ball. Number three does look real good. His backside. A, A shoat with three T's. I knew it was. Quentin 413's. We've got an outlaw fan on the stream here. Three looks dusty. Be there for the banner reveal. Uh, oh, Gagliardi's up in here. All right. We're ready to play some ball, folks. If you can, that would be great. I, uh, ooh, he may have, he may not have been able to do it to yours yet. Let me see if I can pull it up. We're all flying by the suit of our pants at this point. <sighs> okay. Got the Outlaws wing and all. Man, we got some Outlaws fans in the chat. This is great. Okay, Jake Sprinkle on the bump for the short shorts. In case you didn't know, my name is Rudy Lyon here on the call for tonight's game. The field is in prime condition. It's about a 65 degree evening. It's been a little cloudy, some sunspots clipping through here every now and again. All day here in Indianapolis, we had some rain showers in the morning, just kind of flatten out the dust on the infield. Great playing conditions. The grass is trimmed to perfection for ground balls. A little bit of moisture on the grass, you might see some skipping grounders get through to the fence. <laughs> Sprinkle is a former pitcher for University of Indianapolis, now coaches at Franklin College. Last year really filled up the strike zone. He uh, threw a total of about 65 innings for the short shorts and had uh, was usually the game one and game three starter for any tournament play or three game series that they took part in. Second game tonight, we'll probably see or maybe in relief Taylor DeHart on the bump, number 24. We're in warm ups right now. The team's about ready to take the field. We had some technical difficulties getting going. As you can imagine, taking on the chore of going viral and trying to give a great product out to all of our followers and viewers. We are uh, working through some things. We got some more stuff in store. We're going to even right now, this is kind of bare bones stream as we get throughout the season and more familiar with some of our streaming capabilities. It will get better and better with uh, scoreboard capability with certain graphics for home runs and whatnot. So uh, this is just the beginning. There's going to be plenty more to improve upon after this first night. And there's going to be more games tomorrow. So we may have some stuff new for you even tomorrow night. All right, we got Kyan Hamilton stepping to the plate. 17 years old, one of the youngins in the league. Batting lefty. Takes a strike on the inside from Jake Sprinkle. 
Now I can't remember. Oh, popped into left due to slips and caught on the dive. What a first play of the season. That's an out recorded. Hey, what did I say? I think I called Indeed, Electric, that's a great name. That play was Electric. What team am I on? I'm on the Yackers. I'll, gi I'll give you some face-to-face. -face. Here comes Aiden Palmer, the new outlaw. Last year started the season with the short shorts, so there is some bitterness in this rivalry. 2-0 from Sprinkle. Say that. That's so weird. 3-0 here to Palmer. 4-0. So in wiffle ball, you get five balls for a walk this season. We upgraded it just to give. All right, and there's, there's a walk if Palmer wants to take it. He wants to swing, though. So when you get into a five-ball walk, that is hit deep into left, but he's under it. He's not running it out, and it's caught by DeHart. Two outs. So in that scenario... In that scenario of a five pitch walk or any fifth ball in the count, the hitter gets the option to take the walk or swing away with a lob pitch. Strike from Sprink. Right down the pipe, bias swinging lefty, going the lefty, righty, lefty lineup. Oh, swings at a dirty slider in the dirt. It is Jake Sprinkle. I, I knew I messed it up when I said it. And down goes bias. That will end the inning. And the shorts will be coming up. Lineup was not reported to me, so uh, we'll see it as it comes up. Thanks for uh, the answer there, Jimmy Hay. We do have about four to eight players on every team, so roughly 60 players in the league. Aiden Palmer on the bump getting loose. Looks like he's ready. He got a decent bullpen in before, before the game. Again, you see number three down there by the scoreboard getting. He's our videographer for the season. Unfortunate, probably a season-ending injury and surgery to his shoulder upcoming. But uh, he's going to definitely have a lot of footage for his highlight reels for CCW, and we will benefit for it. Six inning games, yes, Jimmy. Thank you, Jimmy Hay, for answering all these questions. I can only do so much as the play-by-play -play guy. Leading off, Brandon Dudas, the commissioner. These two related. That ball was outside off of the scoreboard table. 1-0. Great slider, top of the zone. Dudas pulls the trigger but swings through it, 1-1. One one. Yes, we all use the yellow bats. Oh, turns out of the way of another slider. Palmer comes out firing one and two. One of the most vicious sliders in the game of wiffle ball, not just here. And top of the zone, three straight peppered sliders. Jack B plus, yes indeed, all caps, Jesus, LOL. It is humming in there. He probably throws, and a fourth straight slider. This is command like I've never seen from this young man. Usually effectively wild, but he is pepper in the zone right now. And another. That's five in a row. Kyle Gagliardi, you do not take credit for last year's championship. And DeHart goes down on three pitches. A good waste pitch on the inner half. Two down quickly. Two Ks for the young gun Palmer. Just 19 years old. Six in a row. I don't know if I've ever seen him throw six straight sliders for a strike. This is you, – you folks are in for a treat right now, seeing what you're seeing. There's one in the middle. Got to make a play. Oh, it's down. Hovers in the middle between – usually you would have playing the pull game, but they decide to play split defense, and that leads to a hit. First one of the year for Jones. Brings up Dudas again in this three-man lineup. Popped up. He was all over at that time. Palmer's got to squeeze it, and that's three. 0-0 zero, zero, heading into the top of the second.
Yes, Aiden on the bump usually throws upwards of 80 to 85 miles per hour. Definitely near the top end of our arms in speed wise. Sprink again on the bump, looking to get another shutout inning here. Just so you know, pitchers, they cannot throw consecutive games if they throw two innings, more than two innings in one particular game. So in this case, if Sprinkle threw the first two innings of this game, he would be eligible to play in the nightcap of this series. Joseph McInery, eight ball nation. Oh man, we got a front runner in the house. <laughs> Frank throws us. We have a blue skinny bat. Those are legal. It's still the typical narrow five ounce wiffle bat, just a different color. There's another strike, one and two. Ball down, two and two to Wilsey, first at bat of the year was a rookie last year. Ooh, and that nicked the zone on the bottom edge. Down he goes on strikes. <laughs> Kyan swings, that's a tough play. He's safe, a hit for Hamilton. Runner on first, one out, brings up Palmer again. One and one to Palmer. McInerney is picking different teams. We got a pork pistol fan now. He was an eight balls fan three seconds ago. Takes inside. Wind is blowing out to left a little bit today. Strange, we usually have winds blowing in from the north in the spring here in Indianapolis. This is a different, oh, slow hanging slider on top of the zone, takes it for a strike. Another one, bottom of the zone, strike three. I believe that was ball one from Sprinkle to Bias in his second AB. Takes another one. <laughs> it is hard to see strikes. Hopefully uh, you can hear them though. That's the, the luxury of hitting the board. Yes, I agree. The Outlaws pinstripes, kind of a mix between Pirates and Yankees look is much, much cleaner and the, the ball caps to go with it is a nice look. All right, fills it up with two straight strikes. Down in the dirt. Five. Ball five, he's gonna hit. See if he can plant one into Doyle's tree in right center. If he hits it off that scoreboard in right, that is in play. Ripped in the gap. Oh, runner trips at first. He's having a hard time. And he's out because he's wearing Vans. <laughs> if there was ever a day to not wear flat bottom shoes, it would be today. We have a damp infield, a little bit muddy conditions. Score is still 0-0. Zero, zero. James, I don't know if you're the fourth oldest player in the league at 29. That would be, we have, I know, the pork pistols are all older than 30. Now the Fowler's off the team. DeHart will lead off, the bottom of the second, still 0-0. Palmer looking to stay in the zone the way he was, gave up one hit, struck out two, misses outside. 
Youngest age limit is either 14 or freshman in high school, and we only have one of those, and he's kind of more of a minor league project. That is a fair ball off the bag. Hands, huh? hands, hands are considered part of the bat. Ripped again, missed it, pops up, trips over the bucket of balls. Still makes the play, clean up on aisle three, one down. Brings up top of the order with Dudas, three man lineup today. That bucket of balls is there. It, it, if a ball in play off the bat hits that bucket, it's an automatic single. That's why Palmer has that bucket behind him. This is not like baseball where you play with the same ball on every at bat. It would just take too much time since we don't have a catcher. 2 0. Three and zero here. Sorry if the stream hung up there. We are working with a Wi-Fi router from a great distance, so we may have some technical issues from time to time. Just stick with us if you can, or if it boots you, come back on in. Three and zero. Misses outside. No, nope, it was a five-pitch walk. So Dudas is going to get a chance to hit a bomb here. Sees a pitch. Trying to. Hit. That is Let's deep go! to center, hanging and Woo! gone. First of the year for CCW. Throw some wiffle balls in the chat for that, Homer. Let's go. Duda sends it over the monster in center. One nothing. Top of the zone. Two nothing. Runner was on. After that infield single by DeHart. Oh, another one off his hands. Can't make the play. Oh, that's going to be a double. And the ball. That's two hits for DeHart. A single and a double, both off his hands in this inning. One out. Outside slider misses. Are you losing... Uh, connection of viewers because of it? Are you okay? Because of what? Are you losing connection? Should be on beta. We got okay. 71 viewers. Yeah. It went down to 50 and now it's back up. Outside again. Palmer's starting to struggle here, getting location issues. Misses again. He was really working that slider on the inner half to the right-handed batters, and it would just break over the middle of the plate perfectly. He's he's leaking it out to the center too much, and therefore he's missing outside. Which, with that pitch being as vicious of a break it, as it has, you want to start that in, if anything, and miss inside as an intimidation factor to the pitcher or to the hitter. Excuse me. That's ball one. After the sees the first one, grounded up the middle, and it's through his legs. That's a single. Dead ball, first and third, just as I was. That rarely happens, folks. That rarely happens. But the ball went straight through Palmer's legs and hit the yellow bucket, which is a dead ball single, first and third. One down, two nothing. As you see in the bottom left corner of the scoreboard there, home team up two nothing. 2-0 count. Swings through a pitch that just misses outside the zone. It was a two-run homer. Sorry if you missed it on the stream there. Uh, Gags, the nudes pod is coming out next week. We're lining up, so tomorrow being the eight balls and pork pistols game, hit into center. Going to tag and score. More slippage. Third run, third RBI for Dudas. Two outs. Runner on first. So, yeah, uh, tomorrow the eight balls and pork pistols pod will come out uh, in preparation for their game tomorrow evening. Hopefully the weather holds on for us. And then next week on uh, Monday and Tuesday, we will have the four remaining teams come out. So that will give me a little bit of break. Hits the top of the zone. 1-0. Oh. Or 0-1. Oh 
Oh, scoreboard. Oh, okay, 1-0. Oh. Takes one off the chest this time. He's getting used to hitting the ball with his body and not his bat. Three and zero oh now. Four zero. Oh. Aiden getting a little wild. Again, one of the best innings I've seen out of him in his first inning. There, misses inside again. I'm seeing every team mentioned here except the Yakers. Why don't Why don't we get some Yakers fans in the chat? I'll show you my jersey here in between innings. I'm wearing it right now since I'm the manager. Go, ball! Hit right deep in the right. left and gone! Right, excuse me. Left handed batter into the right field, bleacher seats. Past Doyle's tree, it makes it 5 0. DeHart with the bomb, two run, Dinger. Throw Dinger in the chat for me. One and zero from Palmer again. He's giving up five runs, starting to labor in this inning. No time limit tonight on these games, since these are the only series going on. If we ever have back-to-back -back series in an evening, uh, usually we would have time-limited games, but that won't be as much of an issue since uh, we are going to a round-robin format with three teams in any particular night. Okay, we have Electric who says he's going to be a fan of whoever wins this game. Gags, you loved me, and all of a sudden, you hate me for absolutely no reason. <clears throat> How long is the season? Good question. So we start tonight, and it, uh, the regular season will wrap up July 25th. That is the deadline to get your 21 games in. Hit down the line. Got to make a play, and it's dropped. Ball is down, puts on the brakes. Single. Outlaws defense is struggling to make a play in the field right now. Great diving effort from the pitcher. Almost a flesh gem there. But July 25th is the deadline for regular season. Exactly, because why not? If you know what a yakker is, Y-A-K-K-E-R, let me know in the chat. It's a, uh, it's a baseball term. Another miss, 2-0. Yes, indeed. Welcome to Yak Nation, Quentin. Thanks for listening to the teams, James. Shorts, eight balls, yakers, outlaws, noodlers, moonshots, pork pistols, and hackers. Another ball coming in. Looks like Dudas is going to take a swing. We have two outs. He sees his, his first pitch, swings away, down the line. Wilsey slips again. Safe. Safe call by the umpire, House. Getting down the line pretty quickly after his uh, fully healed, repaired knee. Gags, House says, or House, <laughs> Gags says hi. He says, what's up? The field needs some raking after this game. Probably. You're probably right. We didn't want to rake because uh, it's kind of muddy conditions because it rained, and we didn't want to chunk it up. So um, we focused so much on the grass and the turf, we uh, didn't really have time to, to focus on the infield. Obviously, you're seeing that with the slipping and sliding going on right now. Yep, the board is smaller. It is uh, three, two or three inches higher up off the ground, though. But we narrowed the strike zone so we don't have the outside corners exposed. DeHart looking to hit another bomb. Scores 5-0. We do have a run roll here. 
And there it goes up into the tree and way gone. His second of the night. He's got four hits this inning alone. Eight nothing. This is really sending Palmer's ERA to the moon right now, a la GameStop stock back in January. That is Taylor DeHart. How do you not know who Taylor DeHart? Oh, that was some gas. Didn't even seem like it was a slider. Misses outside, one and one. Palmer looked great in the first inning. He just can't seem to lock in or key in for this inning. Trying to get us to the top of the third. We play six innings. Misses high, almost hits him in the dome. Four and one after a first pitch strike. We do have a run rule. Uh, I believe it is 15 after four. I, I suspect the Outlaws to put up some runs. They'll, they'll get into some good uh, good hitting counts. Hit down and a laser beam out in a hurry. Nine nothing. Outlaws, five homers hit this inning. Here comes Deuce again, top of the order. Another dinger. Two and zero to do this. Again, he's just peppering the scoreboard, missing by mere centimeters. Four zero. Short sorts are feasting on the slow pitch. Uh oh. Lights are now on. They're flickering. Ripped into center, carries out, 10 nothing. Lost all power. We lost, it's all gone. No, we're good. Looks like we've lost power to our uh, our lights for the moment. And sorry if you can't see the scoreboard down bottom left. I'll keep you updated. Yeah, my laptop's not charging. It's all right. We'll be okay. 10-0 now. Yeah, it looks like we may have a short with our lights. Shouldn't be an issue with daylight today. Definitely have to get it figured out. A solar flare, yeah, that's probably it, Quentin. Looks like Palmer's gonna have to fill up a bucket here soon. He's running out, he's slow. Throw another lob pitch to Hart, looking for his third homer of the inning. They are hitting so many homers, they knocked the power out. That is uh, that is probably what happened, actually. Palmer's got a look of dejection on his face right now, just exhausted from throwing. Oh, Taylor chases one. That's a foul ball. He's still in the count. Gets two more strikes. Ripped. That's got to be caught in foul territory. Makes the play. Helps his pitcher. Ends the inning mercy with, with mercy, thankfully. 10-0. Heading to the top of the third. Outlaws looking to scratch some runs across to maybe avoid the run rule upcoming if the shorts can add another five runs in the third. As promised, I will swing this over and we'll uh, get you guys a little look-see at the Yacker jersey. So, this is what I look like. I'm sorry it's disappointing, but got the Yacker jersey here. Gray with the navy pinstripe, so if you're looking to 
be a Yacker fan, this is what we'll look like. We do have other jerseys coming in for the season that'll be in Navy, but we'll switch up the looks. 10 nothing. What'd you say? Oh, yeah. Weird. He gave us trouble the other night, but then it came on like. Yo soy Kyrie, yes, Yacker fan. That jersey is bussin'. <laughs> that's uh that's what they're saying these days, the kids are saying. Bussin' bussin'. Leading off the inning will be Wilsey. The Outlaws have a couple hits to their name, still looking to get a run to, or a runner to second base. Cody. Got to have the backwards K. It's a wiffle ball, a lot of strikeouts. It's kind of our, our secondary logo. Dude is stepping in for Sprinkle, so he's eligible for game two. He may re-enter the game if Dudas has struggle hitting the board. There's a strike, one and one. Hey, power is back on. Ten nothing is the score. Thank you, Umpire House. Swings through for another strike. Dudas is definitely throwing more gas than what I've seen before. This is a, a new, new Dudas. Tipped Let's back go. in the zone. Strike three. Just straight Welcome fastball. Back. This week's schedule. So tomorrow night, we will have a two-game series between the Eight Balls and the Pork Pistols. Two teams that faced off in the playoffs. Their team season previews will be on YouTube tomorrow. Just recorded that episode this evening, and you'll be able to hear all about them. Big drop ball from Dudas. Don't remember him having that pitch before. He's learned some things in the offseason. I'm sorry, as the kids say, sheesh. sheesh. Ice in his veins. Misses outside. You'd buy a Yakker's jersey? Hey. I'll take your money and send you one if you'd like. Oh. Hamilton swings through. Ball in the dirt. Second strike. He's wearing Josh Hart's jersey this evening. Does not have his. Oh, and another big drop ball. Strike three. We may have an early Cy Young candidate. And he's walking around with some swagger. Either exhaustion, anger, uh, just a, a mix of many emotions, I'm sure. I think, I don't know if we have team merch, but we may have league merch. Uh, we have once before. You may be able to check on our website, circlecitywiffleball.com, and see if you can find something with our branded logo on it. We do all have Twitter accounts. Usually you put, it's the, the handle is just the name of the team, underscore CCW. So simple enough. Uh, my team's handle is Yackers, underscore CCW, so on and so forth. Drop ball just misses. Trying to get some revenge on each other here between Palmer and Dudas, who are related. This is an uncle, un uncle versus nephew dynamic here. Another drop ball strike. He's really humming with that pitch tonight. T. Dot Willis, if you uh, you can look Yakker's Wiffle up on Twitch as well. We won't be doing a ton of streaming. It's more so for following the uh, CCW streams. But if you want to get at, at us in uh, our DMs or other communication forms on Twitter, feel free to send us your information, and I'll see what we can do as far as ordering jerseys go. Sun is starting to stream through from the west. This field faces north. And uh, if all the shrubbery, trees, houses uh, were not there behind the left field fence, you'd be able to see downtown Indianapolis. So field faces north. Sun is to the left field side setting. Palmer rips deep into left and gone. 
Outlaws are on the board. Gets okay. some payback with a one-run shot, ten to one. Yeah, no, I, we're not gonna, so if I was five one, it would be the second. But yeah, there. Yes, eight balls. This really is the best I've seen from him, and the hardest I've seen him throw. That's a straight fastball. He's he might be getting stronger from throwing BP at baseball practice with his freshman team. That is a strategy, just take and get slow pitch. Some of these guys are unhittable when they're, we have a couple guys who can throw upwards of 90 miles per hour and you just kind of say your prayers and, and hope he misses five times and then you get a chance to hit a dinger off of him. But that is definitely part of the strategy of the game. He is throwing gas. Strike three from Dudas. He strikes out the side. Ten to one. Palmer puts the outlaws on the board. We head to the bottom of the third. This is Rudy on the mic on the ones and twos. The voice of CCW. Dudas just told me he threw a simulated game. Maybe that maybe he was talking wiffle ball and not baseball. I don't I, I'm I'm old. I've I've lost a ton of uh, brain cells and memory, so I have no idea what happened. I don't know what I ate for lunch six hours ago. Gags, if you're up here and you're not gonna be a chump, we would love to have you on the call with me. We welcome color commentary and play-by-play. -play. I know you like to do your thing up north and calling games, so we'd love to have a... Uh, no, we're gonna insert Sprink. Okay, an Al Michaels to the uh, John Madden or Chris Collinsworth duo. Looks like Jake Sprinkle is entering into the lineup. They'll have a four batter lineup now. It was uh, actually pretty simple to set up. Eight balls. Uh, we just used the um, the tiller to dig the hole. It went in and got done in probably five to ten minutes, honestly. It's exactly 12 inches off the ground, so just like NWLA standards. We'll see. I don't know who's going to be here that night for our three-game, our three-team series. I don't know if there's anyone that's already claimed to be on the on the call for that one, but we'll see what happens in a week, eight days from now. Thanks for the subscription, Ballistic Gator. Subscribing with Prime. All right, Jones gets another rip. He fouls it off. That's his first strike in the at-bat, I believe. Two, second strike. Second strike. <laughs> Is it? 12. Ball hit deep to center, carrying, but app? caught. Uh, Are you in the Google Drive? Uh, I can find it. Yeah. Sprinkle. Sprinkle now stepping up for his first AB of the season. So, yes, yeah, season ending injury. Keegan Coy, who is here at the park, he is a short short. He's a. Uh, to the right of the screen, I believe. He's uh, right here, just to the right of our umpire. He got in a lime scooter accident and partially tore his rotator cuff. So he had a great season last year. Looks like he's gonna miss out on the 2020 season, unfortunately. Dude. This is opening day, McNichols. Kels McNick, I don't know what that is. Um, it's looking pretty confirmed. It's been recommended that he gets surgery. Sprint goes down looking. Palmer just was shoving some strikes in the zone. Yeah, Keegan was a double-digit homer guy, had 30 RBIs, 
40 plus hits, 85 plus total bases was a stalwart in the lineup. Dudas fouls back the slider, just missed it. He's kicking himself for it. Ripped in the center, carrying, gone. His third of the day, and that was on fast pitch. First fast pitch homer of the day. That's tough to do against Aiden Palmer. 11 to 1. Dudas is feeling it tonight. He's been amped up for a while doing all this field work, getting all these TikTok followers. We've never uh, said the Outlaws were the wisest, best strategical team in the league. So you'd think, I think their thought is, oh, fouled back is to just ride him for the game and then do their best with uh, Mitch in game two. Oh, yeah, you need two more. One more. And then what is it after five? Rip down the line, <laughs> and it's going to be a single. What was the run rule? <laughs> so the run rule update is 12 runs after four innings. So we're in the bottom of the third. If they manage to get two more runs here, we'll be in run rule threat. This is the bottom of the third, bottom of the third. 11 to 1 short shorts. Is that yours? Yeah, that's well. My dad. Misses outside. You get five balls. Five balls, and it becomes a slow pitch offering from the pitcher. And the batter has a chance to hit it over the fence a little more easily. I've got three batters, so it's like. Here's a strike from Palmer. Another one, top of the zone, inside. <clears throat> and right down the pipe. And, nope, ends the inning. So not in run rule trouble just yet. They would have to hold them uh, from scoring two runs next inning. This is the top of the fourth. So dimensions of the field, if you can't see or you're seeing uh, Jimmy Hay give a little commentary on it. It's 89 down the left field line, 97 to uh, left center where the fence grows or doubles in size from 4 to 8 feet. About 103 to dead center. Jim, Jimmy Hay knows very well how deep that is because he ran headlong straight into it. Somehow didn't break a single... Um, single board on the fence last year but he's a uh, good friends with that center field fence it's 95 to right center and then down the right field line is 85 so a bit of a short porch and right and to uh, make it a little more challenging obviously we have that standing scoreboard in right center that if you hit it is not a home run it is in play as long as it comes back into the field of play. There's yellow trim on the outside of it to signify that it is part of the fence. I actually have video of that collision, uh, James, so I'll have to share that with you sometime. Strike from Dudas again. Clouds are starting to roll in a little bit. There were threat of showers and storms in Indianapolis. They have held off, so here we are, opening day. Field's looking great. Wilsey takes a ball down and in. <laughs> I mean, yeah, James, you're you're 29. You're getting dang old. You can't be doing that stuff. You got a wife to go home to. 
Ball away, misses. Wilsey being very patient. More improvements need to be coming to this field. Oh, Wilsey's going to take his lob pitch, see if he can get his first dinger of the year. Takes a strike. Two strikes on him. Rip down the line. DeHart makes the play. Got him at one on the step. Rolled over to third. Clean play by DeHart, one of our better defenders in the league. No, with this field, we cannot afford to play in the rain. It, uh, it would really tear it up. And we have a national tournament to host. We've got, we want to keep it in the best of shape so that we're ready for that in September. Keeping it pristine all year long. Dudas misses outside, but Hamilton swings through it. Another drop ball, swings through. He's definitely got a bailout swing. Pulls his lead foot down the first baseline rather than at the pitcher. Just missed on the drop ball. Spikes one in the dirt. Still steps out of the way even though it's just a wiffle ball. Another ball down the middle. Dudas gives a grunt and a let's go before the ball even hits the zone. Defense is throwing the ball around. He's going to pick up some of the balls here. I believe that's five Ks for Dudas now on just the one run. Brings up Palmer. He's removed his shroud that is muddied up. 0-1. Oh Where they have, they have undershirts? They have now wearing the gold uniforms. Apparently that uh, the outlaws have now three different uniforms, gold, white, and black. Another strike on the bottom corner. <laughs> It is the uh, top of the fourth, 11 to 1, short shorts leading. Dudas pitching in relief. Palmer had a great first inning, then gave up 10 runs in the second and one in the third. We do have a second game coming up later. We will uh, end the stream upon this game coming to a close and then uh, get another game going shortly after. So, uh, hoping to. See more competition in that game. Duda strikes out the side again. Two runs will win the game. It is 11 to 1 heading into the bottom of the fourth. We play 12 runs after four. Six innings is an official game. No, there is no netting in right field. That's just the neighbor's yard. Bottom four. <laughs> so as we have a little break in the action before Bias, looks like he's coming on in relief. It's 12 after four. Or wait. Yeah, this is this is the bottom of the fourth. So we got to Yeah. Not really. They don't score. So two runs will end the game. I'm confused why they're confused because you literally told them. I don't think I know. So while we have a break, uh, extra innings is a home run derby. That is right. I was going to say if you have any other questions, please let us know. Uh, before this game ends and then please tune in for game two but neighbors don't seem to mind they actually get a kick out of it to our left to the left of our uh, third baseline fence is a chicken coop 
and we do after every game we go pick up foul balls all the time um, and to the over the fence uh, the right field fence is just a ton of All right, guys, sorry for the technical difficulty. I think we got a phone call and it kicked us off the stream. Not streaming from my phone. Ripped into right, gonna carry his fourth of the day. Ball game. And a walk off to boot. Unbelievable game from Commissioner Brendan Dudas. He is back in 2019 form. And just as we got back on the stream, we're gonna sign off, and uh, yeah, we'll get a we'll get a we'll save a post game interview uh, for for Dudas at the end of the night, and others see what they got. So just to give a little enticement for the second game, I'll uh, end this stream for now and tune back in here shortly. Uh, we want to get some other things figured out as the Outlaws uh, try to get loose and take on the home team role of this game too so 13-1 short shorts win uh, we'll be back with game two in a minute Strike three from Bias. Starts out the season well. You got the long, lanky lefty on the bump. Sorry if we're coming in a little bit late there. They got going a little quicker between games than anticipated. We're trying to work out the bugs here. Dudas goes down on strikes. Bias first. AB of the season is a K. DeHart steps up. He had a couple homers in his first game on lob pitches. If you were, weren't tuned in for game one, 13 to one run rule win. It's hard to say for the short shorts. 2-0 from Bias. Getting a little more overcast as the day drags on here. 8.05 here in Indianapolis, Eastern Standard Time. Here in the dirt yard country's best wiffle ball field. There's a strike from Bias. Three and one is the count. Another ball from Bias. Four one. We play five balls here. Five balls is a walk and the hitter has an option to take the walk or hit. My name is Rudy Lyon on the call for this series tonight. And there's the walk. He's going to pitch to DeHart, see if he can hit another bomb. He gets two strikes. There's a strike. Gets one more of those. Ooh, just misses. There's one ball. Two. Ripped in the gap. It's going to get down. Mighty shoot for two. And he's going to hold it one. And the ball enters the circle. Becomes a dead ball. So single into the gap. DeHart helps his batting average. And the lights. Okay. All right. Good. Trying to get the light and right center to work. Jones steps in. It's kind of like Jurassic Park. Yeah. We all know how that turned out. <laughs> Everybody dies. Yeah. And the dinosaurs. Uh -huh. Hey, three's on the line. Don't give up a ball in the water. Here we go. Just misses outside. Hits the scoreboard. 0-0 zero, zero here. Top one.
I am trying so hard, Smithy. It is. We've got a ton of irons in the fire right now with power going out and the lights on the scoreboard. Misses high. Trying to do Twitter, all the stuff. But we'll get better at it as the season goes. This is, we're taking on the burden of being viral. Just comes with the territory. Oh. Ripped into left center, carrying and gone. Another bomb for Jones, 2 nothing. Bias gets him to chase. <laughs> oh, and two with another lefty slide piece down the middle. Just misses on the inner half. Skips a 40-footer in there. It is 47 feet to the mound. I'm glad you're excited, D. Louie. Noodler Nation in the house. Tipped into the board. That is a strike. If that were to happen on strike three, then the, the uh, batter would be out. It's just like fouling a foul tip into the catcher's mitt. Dudas has two Ks in the inning, getting a little humbled from his uh, first game experience. Ball high and inside. One and noted to heart. Bias just misses again, two and out. The lights are on. We're officially calling this a night game, with an eight o'clock start. Should have a little bit more daylight here in Indianapolis. How many teams do we have? Uh, eight teams in the league. I agree, Rogers. Mitch is nasty. Very, he's like a stretched out version of Speak Jr., honestly, with coming from the left side and that arm angle. Eight teams in the league. Let's see if I can list them all off. My Yackers. You got the Outlaws in the shorts playing right now as DeHart takes his lob pitch. Oh, a strike there. Just misses up. And then you have the Noodlers, the Moonshots, the Hackers. The Eight Balls. And who am I forgetting? Oh, fouled back. That's strike two. And the moonshot today. Yep. Oh, pork pistols. Yep. Thank you. Fouled again. Staying alive. This lefty on lefty matchup. Ripped into center. Right at the shifted Aiden Palmer. Ball kind of died as it got in the air. Undefeated. Well, I'd be shocked if anyone undefeated over the course of a 21 to 25 game schedule. So uh, we'll be here for the next two months or so playing games. I don't know if anyone's going to go 21 0. Sprinkle back on the mound after only throwing two innings in game one. He is eligible to pitch in the second game. Dudas was shoving in relief in the third and the fourth inning to get Sprink to this. And that saves DeHart. 
unless he wants to get some work in from the left side. Sprink not throwing as hard, it seems, uh, as he was last year. Maybe he's still trying to tune, tune his arm up a little bit now that he's gone from the playing ranks to the coaching ranks. Hamilton will lead off again. Luke S., Outlaws fan in the chat. Good to have you. I like the aggressive approach from Hamilton. He's not going to get cheated on his swings. Big looping slider misses away, one and one. Inside, two and one now. Swings through it, two and two. Score is 2 0 on the Dylan Jones home run in the first inning, 3 and 2. So, great question. Getting out, we play pitcher's hand rule. If you see that, that uh, green piece of turf that the pitcher is throwing off of, not the, the long rectangle that's brighter green, but the deeper green one, that is our circle. The pitcher or whoever needs to get. Uh, have the ball in possession with at least one foot in the zone before the batter reaches first base to record an out. And once the ball enters that zone, runners have to stop and the play is dead. Hamilton swings through the lob pitch to record the first out of the inning. Palmer, homered. Uh, in game one, fouls back on the fastball. Slider misses in. Palmer has put the jersey back on, the button down, over the undershirt. Misses high. Misses away. Palmer's got himself in the hitter's count. And it looks like he's going to get his lob pitch, see if he can cut this deficit in half. 2 nothing here, bottom two. Ripped into center, but he got under it, and that's going to be squeezed for sure by DeHart. Cradles it around his neck. Two down quickly, two missed lob ball opportunities. These outlaws are going to have to take advantage of those. Uh, as was outlaid in our season preview podcast that came out today, dribbled, foul. We're wondering where the O in Outlaws will come from. They need offense because they're going to have the pitching if they can lock in. They're just going to have to score some runs in order to win with the good pitching that they have. Outside. You were one foot off, Jimmy. Jimmy Hay, it's 97 and 95. Another, it's going to be foul. Sprint can't get off the bump to get it. Yeah, we are one of the deeper wiffle ball fields. Generally, wiffle ball fields run fences anywhere from 70 to 85 feet. Uh, and they're oftentimes cookie cutter symmetrical all the way around. But this was a creation of AmeriFence, one of our sponsors. Oh, and Bias chases on a dirty slider, ends the inning. Top three, two nothing, shorts coming to the plate. So this whole field, if you don't know the story, if you look at the scoreboard and write, that blue, white, and red logo is a mare fence, and they donated all the lumber and labor to create this field. And the owner of that company is Mike Speak Sr. And he uh, is the manager of the eight balls. So um, he found out of this league, heard of the CCW League, which used to be the ISWB, Indy Southside Wiffle Ball League, entered a team, created relationships, and got involved with uh, the commissioner, Brendan Dudas, and just out of the own goodness of his heart and wanting to play on an elite facility, wanted to build a stadium for Wiffle Ball. Now, the, the infield dirt was already here, and it was great. Um, but he wanted to create a custom design for the fence. There are party decks behind the center field fence where people can watch. We'll be installing canopies. 
over top so that our fans can stay out of the sun and enjoy a game from there. Jones stepping up to lead off the inning against Bias. Takes a strike down the middle. Bias has really shown improvement since last year in this his first outing. How do you get a ticket? We don't have tickets or admission. This is a private residence. This isn't someone's backyard. Um, so we're handling this new uh, found popularity uh, with trying to figure out what is the best way to allow fans in. We don't, we have limited parking space as you can see the cars beyond left field. Um, we, we do have some events that we host that allow a lot of people to come watch or even get involved with like a slow pitch tournament here and there. Um, but we're going to just have to, for now at least, you're going to have to enjoy the streams. Uh, we'd love to have family members of players kind of limit it. We're still, we're still mindful of the pandemic as well. Uh, we, we canceled our all-star game last year um, in August or in September because uh, we didn't want to, we didn't feel comfortable having upwards of 300 people in um, Commissioner Dudas's childhood home or in their yard. Uh, so that was an obvious decision and couple that with trying to figure out how to handle a thousand new twitch followers millions of views on tiktok we'll, we'll get it figured out but oh jones again light tower power literally over the left center light tower makes it three nothing give me a dinger or a wiffle ball in the chat the wind has died down as the sun has set but still the ball is carrying we have a kind of a light airy feel to the the atmosphere right now. <laughs> Gone forever, Aaron Hernandez. That's what we like to see. Bias down 2 0 in the count. I'm going to have to drink some tea tonight. My voice is going to be shot. <laughs> Bias now 3 0. When you look at Mitch's name, you wouldn't think it's pronounced bias. You would think Buis or Buis, but it's B-U-I-S, and it's pronounced bias. Don't know what nation of origin that is, but we'll take him at his word. Strike right down the pipe, hums a fastball in there. <laughs> he did crush that sucker outside. Link to current rosters. Uh, rosters are not updated at the moment, but you can go to circlecitywiffleball.com and you'll be able to see at least last year's rosters. Um, go to the teams page. Uh, there's a team header up top and you'll be able to click on each of the teams. Fouled off by Dudas as he swung through the previous pitch. Ripped down the line. Palmer playing really deep and he got him at one. Strange that he was playing on the fence, even in a homer count. I thought he did. DeHart steps up again, one out here in the top of the third. Three nothing now. <laughs> Hey, do this. Strike from Bias. First game, uh, Spencer was 13 to one short shorts. A plethora of home runs off slow pitches. I believe only one was on fast pitch from Palmer and Dudas sent it over the center field fence. Uh, it was a run rule game after four innings. There is an umpire on site. We have volunteer umpires who are members of the league who know the rules. And Oh, he's in the, you can't see him in picture. I'll, I'll pan over. He's got a view. Generally, uh, as an umpire, you want to be in view of the line. So with a left-handed batter, you want view of the right field line, right-handed batter. He'll shift over here as he comes through and see the other line. DeHart goes down on strikes from the lefty-on-lefty -lefty matchup. He refills the bucket. All right, see ya. It is the real deal. 
So the way umpires will work is generally, this is different because this is opening week, but we uh, have a two-team matchup where they play two games, but every other night of the year, most of them, it will be three teams here, and they'll play each other once in like a mini round robin where each team will get two games, one against the other two teams, and then uh, the team that is sitting at the moment will be responsible for scorekeeping, uh, doing the book, umpiring, all the things that go on, and calling games. So I'm... I'm here because I love doing this stuff. I'm the manager of the Yackers. We don't play for another eight days, and I, I love doing the streaming stuff. So I uh, would love to be an ESPN announcer someday. <clears throat> and this is, this is just the beginning, but it's only a hobby. Snow cone and seeds, that does sound great. A little bit chilly day for a snow cone, but I could definitely go for some seeds. What's the, what's the favorite flavor of seeds right now? I, I personally like to mix and make a cocktail of them. Eight days does seem like an eternity away. Great pitch by Bias. Gets out of the inning, only giving up the one run. Three nothing, heading to the bottom of the third. Uh, I believe the it was requested that the uh, Noodlers play the two late games at 7 and 8. So I can't remember what we agreed upon, uh, but I think Hackers and Yackers play the 6 o'clock game. Shorts, they seem goaded. There are, you have, this is the, the tip of the iceberg. You have not seen all the other teams. This is a matchup between the fourth place team and the eighth place team from last year. Original seeds, wow. Jacob likes them bland, all right. I have not had Taco Bell seeds, that sounds amazing actually. Bias does throw some heat, he really does. Hey Mike, repping the OKC, what's going on man? Did you go? You didn't go to that Pacers Thunder game, did you? That that sixty point beat down. That was I've never seen anything like that before. Will their music with announcements and everything? Glad to have you here. It's Sobe. Wilsey steps into the plate. Uh, sprinkle spikes a ball into the dirt. Misses again. Two zero. Oh, shoot. That is very strange. I would not have expected that from Oklahoma to not be allowing fans by now. Foul ball, or uh, off the head first. Not a foul ball. And typical Kyle Gagliardi trying to get followers on someone else's stream. Another strike from Sprinkle sends Will C to the dugout. Shorts, uh, yes, they're up 3-0 currently in the third. This is game two, and they won the first game 13-1 on run rule in four innings. Uh, Aiden came in pumping strikes in the first, was really good, threw probably eight straight strikes, which I don't think I've ever seen him do before. Uh, shut. Oh, ripped by Hamilton, kind of dies on the lip of the grass, gets the out at one, called by House. <laughs> Don't be soft, Gags. Come on. It's a joke. Uh, yeah, so uh, Palmer got through the first, but then gave up 10 in the second. Dudas hit four bombs, one off of uh, Aiden's slider. He is locked in, and, and Dudas came in and pitched the last two innings and was absolutely pumping, which is something I haven't seen him do in at least two or three years on the mound. I hope you do pimp a homer. If you if you do manage to hit a homer off me, I want I want them to be pimped. Anything for the league. Bat flip that sucker to the moon. All right, Palmer's gonna get a slow pitch, looking to get a run on the board. Sees one down from Sprinkle. <laughs> Foul back. Palmer still in the AB. 
ripped, and that is well gone. Homer number two of the night for Aiden Palmer. Three to one, short shorts. House, can you add that run? Thanks, man. Ripped into what? right, carrying, but dies right in front of the warning track. If there was a warning track, one run, three quick outs, heading to the top of the fourth. 69 followers in the chat, in the stream. Give us a nice in the chat. Do it for Rob Gronkowski. He would appreciate it. View of the dugout. I suppose I can do that. It's not really a dugout. We've turfed this area so that it uh, sustains for a little bit while longer. I'll try to pick this rig up and move it over. So you got turf all over here. This is the press box where we have a scoreboard, a bunch of our stuff. Fans in attendance. We didn't have fans last year. We got family members. Like I mentioned, there's a chicken coop in the neighbors. So there's not much to look at out, out look at outside of the dimensions of the field. But uh, this is the, the, the crown jewel. Strike again from bias. I'm brave for that. Oh, ripped by Dudas and caught in the air for an out. Oh, oh, whoa. Almost an amazing catch on the throw around there by Wilsey and left. This is Colts country, Joseph. And he's a Buccaneer, so that's a weird thing to say. You might be better suited in making Bias the, the number one and have Aiden try to figure his stuff out in game two of series. This is an official league. Uh, Mitch, TBL fan 23. We have a 21-game season that starts today and goes through July 25th. Eight teams, all with uniforms, and we have official league rules. We crown a champion after playoffs where we do best of three game series. And that season will wrap up around mid-August. This is the top of the fourth. Score is three to one. Short shorts in the gray. The outlaws are in the white and pinstripes. Just getting a solo home run from Aiden Palmer, his second of the night. We play six inning games, six inning games. All right, here we go. Last game, game one, ended in four due to run rule. DeHart's getting his ball five, pitch to hit. Three, thank you. My apologies on missing, missing the inning. Peanut Gallery is in full force here on opening night. Ripped by DeHart, another bomb deep into the night in right over the scoreboard. If it hits that scoreboard, the ball is in play. That is part of the fence. Michigan football fan, are you are you uh, streaming from Michigan right now? I got family in Michigan. From went to high school in Jackson. So it's now four nothing after the depart uh, four one after the DeHart home run. <laughs> Allen Park, outside Detroit, okay. Ooh, another good pitch swung through by Jones. Hey, Keegan, uh, Mike says shake it off and pick up a bat. <laughs> Mike, uh, Guillermo. Yeah. Mike, I'd be lying if I said I hadn't thought about it. You're not leaving. Should have in the 13-1 game. Just get an A-B in there, official season. Swung through.
I'm back. Who's winning? It is four to one. That scoreboard is not updated. Four to one short shorts. You see the scoreboard in the bottom left. That is live updated. Four to one guess. That is the short shorts here in the top of the third. <laughs> is this heaven? It is a slice of heaven in some ways. Yeah, no. If you're quoting the movie, it's no, it's Iowa, but in this case, it's Indiana. Oh, that was some extra chat on the inside. That would have hurt the private parts had that struck it. Thanks for typing away, James. We, uh, with the technical difficulties, we don't have our multiple access to uh, laptop and phone. I'm strictly going off phone right now. We'll get it figured out. Ripped foul. He was all over that one, over into the chicken coop. What's the difference in mounds? So from the, the back mound is roughly 48 feet to home plate. It's actually 48 feet to foul into the zone. Strike three, some javelin toss from uh, Dudas, the commissioner. Good AB foul, being on pitches, just, just missed by a hair. 48 feet to the strike zone from the mound. The, the little strip in front is to save the grass from getting torn up, and that's for uh, when, as uh, James is, Jimmy Hay is posting, that's for the, the slow lob pitch after a fifth ball if the batter wants to take it. A Discord server. Hmm. <laughs> Sprink now on the mound again, 4 1. Here in the bottom of the third. Sprink's ready to go. Hmm? No. Blake's on the book. I'm doing way too much up here. <laughs> yep, we do have some former college ball players. Uh, the guy on the mound, he pitched at the University of Indianapolis. I don't blame him. Dudas also played at UND. Wilsey swings through, first strike. Another big looping curve. Wilsey just disgusted with himself. Gets him to chase. Wilsey having a tough time finding the ball today. Well, it's not that it's not that simple. It's kind of a selective process for getting uh, teams. We do have a free agent form that has been since closed, and we had a draft. Uh, oh, Kyan rips to center, carrying but caught. That, uh, so it is blue, but it's uh, still the same dimensions of the yellow bat. It probably looks a bit bigger because of the coloring, but it's the same skinny yellow bat. And it's officially made by Wiffle Ball, so we allow it. Oh, that's going to have some English, and that's going to be a hit. As he runs with the bat all the way down to first. Palmer gets it past that uh, arc in front of the plate. That's a 20-foot... Uh, radius arc if the ball makes it past or does not make it past that line it is a foul ball ripped by bias and caught on a line makes a dive to his left 
bobbles it and snares it. Great play. Get a web gem in the chat for that. Throw some wiffle balls in here for Taylor DeHart. <laughs> SC top 10 indeed. DeHart leading off after the web gem. Funny how that happens in baseball and wiffle ball. Make a great play, get to lead off the inning. <laughs> Ball one to DeHart. Strike from the lefty bias. The lefty on lefty matchup usually favors the pitcher. This is getting weird with all the wiffle ball conversation. Swings through, ball out of the zone. Two strikes. Missed, down, 3-2. And strike three from Bias on the slider. Gets to heart, going down, looking. <laughs> Bias is doing pretty well, keeping the shorts offense at bay, really hammering the lower part of the zone with that slider. Taking over the managerial role for the Outlaws this year and showing great leadership on the bump. Now quickly down 0-2 with a good waist pitch. Misses high. One and two. Well, it's uh, Dylan, it's uh, I'm sorry, but he hit four in the first game. So this being game two, he, he went off. He hit three slow pitch bombs and then one off fast pitch. And he pitched two innings, which is the first time I've seen him pitch in a long time, and he was shoving. We love to see it living for CCW. We definitely do. This is... No better way to spend a summer than out here at the dirt yard on a summer night. Yeah, Mike, we were pushing 150 viewers in game one, and Bias gets him looking. Come, he falls behind in the count after getting up 0-2, lulls him to sleep. Yeah, he uh, he generally doesn't pitch. He's had shoulder problems and surgery, but he was he wanted to get some relief work in. Oh, squares to bunt, and he gets hit in the chest.
<laughs> Strike from Bias again. Ooh, just misses outside. Uh, no, he has not come to NWLA. He um, he was a rookie last year, and this is the best outing he's probably ever had. He's he's doing really well tonight. His name's Mitch Bias. He's uh, in slow pitch count here. Dude is looking to get another run on the board, make it 5-1. Rip to the right side. Look at he's trying to get a single. Uh-oh. He might get a double. He might get a triple. And he does. Clan circus ball. All the triples are like that. I know. Three bagger dagger. And yes, we do not record errors or fielder's choices. Though that is considered a triple in our stat book. They are few and far between. DeHart now back up, up 2-0 in the count. The Hounds, what a throwback. Have been defunct for two seasons now. DeHart now way up in the count. Yep, we, uh, it's too hard to, to score errors and field his choices here. So basically, and wiffle ball is a hard game to get hits in. So we just reward the batter for putting the ball in play. So that will go down as a triple. Error is a strike from Bias. We got some hounds in the chat. That's right, I forget Will Smithy was a hound, one of the OGs. Another strike from Bias, he's coming back. Cam Smith is a moonshot, yes. Takes a ball, as three comes back in the count. DeHart's gonna get a chance to send another one into the trees. He sees his first, he's got one, lofts it up, tries to come in the back door on the top edge. Again, just misses, that's ball two. How many of them are ex-ball players? Quite a few, uh, depending on what level of ball you're asking. Ripped, oh, he goes oppo two, gets an RBI, gonna stretch it into a double, stand up double. Where'd he go, two four? Good piece of hitting. Uh, three of the players on the Shore Shorts lineup, I can attest, are former U University of Indianapolis baseball players. So we got some good athletes out here. I know Bias, he uh, pitched for a year or two in D3. Uh, Wilsey and Wright played football, D3 football. Um, Moonshots have a couple of University of Indianapolis baseball players. That's the D2 level. Jones takes one in the ribs. That makes it five to one now. Two zero from Bias. Starting to labor a little bit getting through this inning. This score right? It should be five, yeah. I don't know why Blake said four. Because DeHart's bomb last inning made it four. Right. 
Bias misses again. Getting a little chilly out here. I'm throwing on a jacket. Very spring-like night here in Indianapolis. Lob pitch. That's the first one he sees. Oh, he's got to kill it. That's a foul ball. As you see, that ball stayed in the semicircle. If that ball would have hit one of the other balls inside the semicircle, it would be a foul ball. If it were to hit a ball on the outside of that circle, that would be considered a single. <laughs> Jones rips it high. Is it going to carry? Palmer at the fence. Oh! Leaps can't make the play. That's Jones' third of the game. Making it seven to one. That ball was in the air forever, it seems. We might have to get on that, uh, Yosoi Kyrie. We've got, we've had some merch in the past. Dudas has seen the ball well, fouls it back. Great effort by Palmer and left. I thought he was going to make a play on that to at least keep it in the park, but just carried out. Dudas goes down on three pitches. That'll end the inning. Bottom four. 7-1. Lights are shining bright here as the sun has now fully set. Just getting the last bits of daylight coming from the west. Scoring tonight has been 20 to two in total. Outlaws needing to increase their run output this year compared to last, as mentioned in our YouTube podcast on the team previews. If you'd like to follow us on YouTube, we have Circle City Wiffle there. You can catch some of our highlight videos, uh, some videos of our events uh, like the all-star game uh, some interviews with brennan dudas myself rudy lyon <clears throat> along with all of our podcast episodes at least in uh audio form some are in video there is a light in right center uh mike the um We've been ha we had a short earlier where we lost all power, and uh, for some reason that's the only one that isn't coming on now. So we'll definitely have to look into that for tomorrow. All right, Mike, thanks for coming on. Yakers are on next Tuesday, the 11th, starting at 6 p.m. Eastern. So I guess that would be five for you. But we'll have another game later in the evening as well. So yeah. Love to have you back on. We got games tomorrow night too, if you want to check in. Eight balls and uh, pork pistols. Sprink misses down. We'll see, looking for a knock here to get off the Schneid. This is the last game of the night. We have a two-game series between these two. Takes a strike, two and one. Ripped. He's on that one, but fouls it away, two and two. Takes one in his back. Swings through a slider down again on strikes. I swear to God he did. I swear to God he did. <laughs> Hamilton fouls it off with some English. Doesn't kick back fair. Yes. What are all the teams in the league? You can go to circlecitywiffleball.com and see all of our teams listed, but I'll try to name them off again. Uh, Hamilton swings through. We got the Shore Shorts and the Outlaws here. My team, the Yackers, that I manage. The Noodlers. Moonshots, eight balls, Packers. I think that's it. There you go. Pork pistols. I always forget the pork pistols. I don't know why. 
Thanks for subscribing, little brag. Appreciate it, man. Hamilton down on strikes. Two quick ones. Palmer coming up again. Looking to do damage with two. Spring misses down, 1-0. 2-0, oh. oh, getting ahead in the count once more. Three zero. Oh, oh, swings through a good level fastball, just under it. Four and one. Just misses. He'll get his lob pitch. See if he can hit his third homer of the night. Cut into this lead. There's a good pitch to see. Ripped again into right center. Is it carrying? Not enough and caught by DeHart on his horse. Third out, great play by DeHart. He's notorious for running from center field into right and making diving plays. We made one of the most miraculous diving catches last year on opening day where he was fully spread out and had to run a country mile to get from center field to the right field line and slid and made the catch to end the inning, which would have, and it was with bases loaded too, and it probably would have scored three runs. Yes, I remember that. That's, I think it was House. I think you're right. Top five, seven one. Very much so gold glove material. And we call in wiffle ball, often call those golden hands because we don't wear gloves. And he has won a couple of golden hands in this league. Who we got up Bias coming out for his fifth inning of work. <laughs> Hits the bucket, not a strike. I don't know if we handed out golden hands last year, James. When I think about it. So you may not have got it. I don't know if anybody got it. Well, hold on. We got defensive player of the year. Yeah, that was DPOY. Golden hands would have been like, that's not the defensive player of the year. That's kind of the way they give out, you know, nine different gold gloves in the MLB. I just, I think we skipped over that. That basically, I think Golden Hands would have been like all defensive team, essentially. To, to Ford's credit, he, he was unreal last year. I think, uh, James, you might have lost the award the, the first day you ran into the wall. <laughs> One on, no outs. Single by DeHart, just getting on base with high frequency tonight. Between the two games has probably been the best hitter for the short shorts. Peppered in by Bias for a strike. Seven to one here, top of the fifth. You see the score in the bottom left corner of the stream. Spiked in for a ball. Another spiker, another ball. So thanks for sticking with us throughout the night, this uh, two hours of streaming that we've had, coming up on nine o'clock Eastern. This is the first game you checked out. Game one was 13 to one in four innings for the short shorts, getting their first dub of the year. That was a run rule of 12 runs after four, ended on a walk-off two-run bomb by Brendan Dudas, his fourth of the game. Bias misses again. Outlaws are just going to have to find ways to take advantage of when they get in lob pitch counts. And I, they really have not done a great job of that, only sending two balls over the fence with a good couple handfuls of, of lob, lob pitch 
opportunities. Jones is going to get his lob here. Looking for his fourth homer of the game. Oh, flared into center. That is almost a great play, but it's going to end up being a double. It's going to end up being a double after he just flips it by second base. Brings up Dudas with a two RBI chance. No outs, two on. We got a Phils fan from Harshaw. I myself am a lowly Tigers fan. Rudy Kid, could you guys see the curve on that hit there? No. Yeah, that ball was, looked like it was going to the right center and just. Really? That's true. Got Cubs fans, Brewers fans. Strike from Bias. He's been slicing up Dudas in this game. Trying to cool off that hot start from game one. Ripped into right, foul into the spectators. Got in on the hands. It is a peach under the lights. You know this, Gags. Just an absolute beaut. Strike three. Down goes Dudas again. Bias has his number this evening. It's been a good matchup between those two. Bias has come out on top most of the time, if not all. DeHart, again, the hottest hitter on the team. Up again. Looking to do more damage. With runners on in scoring position. Uh oh. Here comes the saucy content on, on Nude's Twitter. Instead of go fishing, the, uh, the handle or the hashtag should be send nudes, N O O D S. What do they do with bases loaded for hitting? So uh, we do have some bench players. We could add just a courtesy runner or just acknowledge that there's a ghosty on first. Um, but the, the team does have four players here. They only are batting three. So if, if bases were loaded, um, the pitcher or a bench player would run in their place. Send nudes indeed. There's a great pitch from Bias in the zone. When do the nudes play? They are up next Tuesday at 7 o'clock. Heads, headshot, literally, back of the dome. Hey, if you had that hair, Sniper. Let's see if DeHart can get some revenge here and make it 10 to 1. Ooh, thinks about it, takes outside. Oh, dribbled. Is he gonna get him? Out, out at one, scores a run, gets an RBI, added to the... Eight to one. Oh, Coy is now just a designated pinch runner for the season. He's gonna jump in for Jones as he has to hit. No, just you invite me. Upload it and then I... 70% chance, does that mean? All right, see you, Church. Eight, he got it, he got it. Ripped, way foul, into the chickens. Arshaw, that's not a very creative uh, decision to root for three of the best teams in the league, I'm just saying, but to each his own. Foul ball into the zone, strike three. That will end the inning. 8-1, bottom five. I think there's a lot in the set up there. Oh, I love seeing wiffle ball relationships being made up on Twitch streams. This is wonderful. So heartwarming. They're not here, that's for sure. 
Donkey breath. Yes, I want to see some slapping dingers, dinger slapping. Gags, 70% chance for opening day. Does that mean you are 70% or he's 70% in for that game? I thought it was a foregone conclusion you both were in. Well, that's the thing. You don't you don't know most of the guys in the league, but the three guys you do know are well, two of them don't even live in Indianapolis, but they're elite national level players, and the other is the commissioner. You got to do the research. CircleCityWiffleBall.com. He's seventy. You're totally in. Okay. I'm, CJ is a busy man. I, I don't know. He's a he's a yes man. He never he never turns down anything. It, did I hear he he coaches lacrosse? If he does, that would be the most shocking thing I've ever heard. Hey, what do you mean with that bat? Put that bat down. <laughs> Where are we located? We are in Indianapolis, the south side of Indianapolis to be specific. About ten minutes from Lucas Oil <laughs> Stadium, where the Colts play, where the Pacers play. Rip by Bias, gonna be a tough play. Oh, got him at one on the shovel. Hey, Frank, God, you look like an He is coaching guy. lacrosse? I, I, did he play lacrosse? I, that, that was just so shocking to me. Wilsey swings through again. One out here in the bottom of the fifth. Oh, baseball. Okay. Good to know. I, I wasn't sure. I heard lacrosse somewhere. <clears throat> I can't believe he coaches basketball and baseball. That is, that's a lot. And managing to have a girlfriend long distance. Credit to him. How much money does winner get? Uh, no, no winner's purse for the league. This is all for bragging rights. We're, all the team fees go towards supporting the league and keeping the, sh the field in good shape. No one wins any money. We get a trophy, we get bragging rights, Hamilton fouls one off. Brendan, dude, this sucks. <laughs> Who, reveal yourself. Who is this? <laughs> oh, my gosh. I have my guesses. Hello, boys. Uh... You'd be surprised. I don't think it. I don't think money would uh, makes a difference in the competition here. Um, you may, you may see like the the scores aren't as good or close in this game because these are one of the top teams versus one of the lesser teams in the league. But yeah, you don't you don't need money to make it competitive. This is elite level talent and elite level athletes out here. Money ain't everything. Oh, he's in now. <laughs> Pretty good. You can't, I mean, you're more than welcome to swing at it. You are. Obviously. Yeah, there's leagues in Pennsylvania. I don't think, like, there's um, the Pittsburgh area, there's leagues in uh, middle of Pennsylvania. Uh, York, I believe. You got Mid Atlantic Wiffle out there in the area. <laughs> oh yeah, there's there's uh, leagues not far from Harrisburg, I think. Look up Mid Atlantic Wiffle Maw, um, Ridley Park. Um, who am I forgetting? Uh, Dudas leads off the inning. Bias pumps another strike. It is eight to one. The gray team that is batting, they are winning. The short shorts are winning. Zero oh and one. Bias with the pause at the top of his motion. One and one now.
Ripped. It's going to hook foul. Giving chase into foul territory into the fans. But out into the chickens. I'm doing a little bit of both. Dudas down 1-2 in the count. And goes down on strikes again for seemingly the millionth time. One down here in the bottom of the fifth. Excuse me, top of the sixth. Top of the sixth now. Spikes a ball 1-0. All hail, oh please, make me blush. There's a strike from Bias, one and one. Bounces back from the bouncer. Top of six, eight, one. Gotta hold him at bay here. Bias has thrown six great innings so far, five and a third. See if uh, he can hold them off and the Outlaws can score eight in the bottom half to win. Score is in the bottom left corner on that scoreboard. The six is the inning, and the one is the home team, eight is the away team. And looks like DeHart's gonna get another slow pitch here. We have eight teams in the league. Roughly 60 players in its entirety. Bias misses with first three lob pitches to Hart being patient. Just misses the board on that one. We do have a drone taking some footage. Misses again. That's a double if he wants it since he's missed with there's a strike. Didn't like that one. If you check out our Circle City Wiffle Ball Twitter page, we got a couple drone shots that were posted yesterday. Outside again. Ripped. He's going to left again. Oppo Taco dropped by Hamilton. Great hustle. He got under it, couldn't squeeze it. Gets another double. He's really trying to push the left side. Every team gets 21 to 28 games. Uh, it's a little bit of flex scheduling. So with seven, uh, eight teams, you have seven opponents, and you play each of those teams three times for 21, and then we have playoffs. Bias peppering. Oh and two to D Jones. Spikes one into the zone. That hit the ground first. Don't be confused. Rip down the line. We do have children in attendance. Yes, <laughs> Probably getting past their bedtime. Jones still down in the count with two strikes, looking to battle up. Uh, he definitely went. He was hoping to check, but he's being honest. Are we? You want to? Two down. Here in the top of the sixth. <laughs> Bounced in. 1 and 0. Oh, look, it's Brendan Dudas. And how is that Brendan Dudas sucks is watching online? 1 and 1. Struck out a handful of times in this game at the. Hands of bias. 
misses outside. Looks like he's got an approach of just taking, forcing Bias to throw strikes. He wants to get into a slow pitch count so he can actually hit. Um, oh yeah, I. Uh, you're right. My mistake. I. I was confused by the sucks at the end of your username. <clears throat> My bad. Bad vibes. Yep. Brendan, bad vibes. Are we gonna write down the winner of this game on a notebook? Good pitch from Bias. Strike in there for number two. We have stats and standings on our website, circlecitywiffleball.com, so. Looks like he might get what he wants. Six inning games, this is the top of the sixth. Ripped foul, stays alive. Thanks for linking that up for us, James. Glad you have nothing else going on this evening. Oh, you thought about it. Just missed. Ripped into center, carrying, gone! Finally off the schneid. Makes it 10 to one. Get a dinger in the chat. Give us a wiffle ball in the chat. That's right, Night Shift Mafia. Jimmy Hay. If it had hit the drone, that would have been the sickest coincidence in wiffle ball history. Laser beam. Every single one is a half. Two outs here. Nope, this is the last game of the night. Game two of the series will be done upon this game wrapping up. We had our first game at 7 o'clock, and it was a 13-1 to win. Oh, oh. <laughs> well... This, if you saw that, the drone just went down in a heap. The battery pack fell out of the drone and dropped out of the sky. Luckily, no one was injured in this. F for the drone. Yep, Circle City whiff. Down goes the drone. Which team do you think will hit the most dingers in the season? Well... Probably not going to be my team, but I would say the short shorts, the noodlers, or the moonshots. Both teams were way up there in homers. Strike from Bias, unfazed by the drone. Two outs. I'll take you guys down on the field level for the next game so we can get ready for post game interviews to give you a little different angle of everything. You said you're going to come down here and get some Yeah. Interviews? Yeah. You, uh, Post game interview? Yeah. Okay. How many fast pitch home runs do you think you've given up? Four? You gave up a lot to me. Hey, yeah. Game, game yeah, plan after. Fast after that. After that. Hey, game plan after we do that. Bias with one strike on DeHart. 10 to 1 now as you see the score in the bottom left of your screen. Thanks for the wiffle balls, Grant. And that'll end the inning. As promised, I'll head down to the field, get you guys some new angles, maybe head out to the party deck. was me. So come take a ride with us. Fair enough, fair enough. He's got two home runs Gags, the, you know this. The outlaws were in shambles before. All right, here we go.
Going down the press box steps. Give you the straight behind angle. The drone is fine, don't worry. Really? See that thing curving? There's a ball in the middle of the zone. We'll head out to the field level here now that you guys have seen that. Our right center field light is out of commission right now. As you see, we'll get that fixed in time, hopefully. Down the third baseline angle here. Strike from Sprinkle looking to close out the game. Again, scores 10 to 1, bottom of 6. Nine to tie, ten runs to win for the Outlaws. It was outside. Outside again. OC other than Mid-Atlantic. Oh, that's a strike barely on the inner half. Ocean City. I'm sorry, I'm not familiar with Maryland. We're out here in Indiana. You'd have to ask the Mid-Atlantic Wiffle. Or Ridley Park guys that are out in that area. All right, Aiden's gonna get a chance to send one over the fence here. First third, very close to being strike three there. Ripped high in the air, but caught at the fence by DeHart. Give you another view from behind the fence and we'll get up to the party deck as well. Just switching it up all angles. Lefty Mitch Bias swings through. One and one. Strike two to Bias. Just misses outside. Rip, going to be tough. He's safe as Jones can't complete the shovel out over to Sprinkle. And we'll head up to the party deck now. If that at bat has ended. See the stairs. You got one in right center and left center. This is the dream. Best seat in the house prior to probably the press box. Now we got Wilsey up. Strike. One and one to Wilsey from Sprinkle. Sprinkle in his eighth inning of work tonight. Pitched two in the first game. Six here. Misses away. Two and one. Walk the bases on homers, you mean? Misses again. We'll see. Might get a chance here. There are leagues in St. Louis, Mr. Apples. Mo Whiff and Skibby Wiffle Ball League. Look them up. It was just. He's going to take his walk. The first walk of the CCW season. Gotta, gotta get runners on. Hamilton up here now. There are a bunch in Michigan. There are a bunch of leagues in Michigan. You got Wiffle in Southeast Michigan. You got MLW. You got Kazoo Wiffle Ball. Michigan's a good Wiffle state. Well represented. And I uh, grew up for a little bit in Michigan, in Jackson. 
Hamilton swings through again. No, uh, there is one league in Cincinnati. I think it's the Greater Cincinnati Wiffle Ball League, GCWL. Hamilton goes down on a ball in between his legs. Palmer looking to add some runs here. Yes, we like to think this is the best wiffle ball field in the country. And not just a field, but a stadium in its own right. Neo Wiffle is in Ohio, yep. 2-0. Sprinkle's starting to labor here a little bit. Definitely going to have to ice the shoulder. Strike. Strike two to Palmer. One out. I think that's in West Virginia. WWW might be in West Virginia. Dribbler, that might be a hit. Oh, it's going to be a hit, and the bases are loaded. The tough conditions giving comeback a chance here with the slippery grass. Well, when you're as deeply invested in wiffle ball, I've been playing wiffle ball for 18 of my 30 years at least and had a league in my own backyard as a kid in Northwest Pennsylvania. And even though I'm not the commissioner of this league, it was it seemed once I moved to Indianapolis and found out about Circle City Wiffle Ball, it was a foregone, foregone conclusion that I was going to try to get involved in leadership in some way or another. So you get in the national scene and uh, you learn a lot about Wiffle Ball all around the country. 10-1, to 1, bottom six. Thank you, Jimmy, for the reminder. Base is loaded, one out. Mitch Bias up. Inside, Sprink may need some relief here if he can't shut these hitters down over the next couple ABs. Rip down the lines, gonna score a run. Oh, everyone's slipping and sliding. Or that's that's three outs. That's the ball game. My apologies. That's ball game, 10 to one. They get out of the bases loaded jam. Start a chant for my name? Like the movie? That's so true, Harshaw. You get to meet a lot of great people. I'll get uh, down to the... Felt good about uh, ma table. managing all the panic of getting the season going and uh, what felt good about being at the plate and on the bump. We started early this year uh, on the mm -hmm. field work, so, I mean, obviously we just had some, some minor brush-ups to do tonight. I mean, that was nice. You know, we weren't, we were running around like crazy before the game, but we weren't absolutely panicked. Um, and then just a different energy, I think, as a player to mm -hmm. start the season off. I, you know, I really removed myself from the bump in the past years, and I'll, I'll be honest, it has sucked to see uh, that MVP talk not include me. So I mm -hmm. uh, spent the whole, spent the whole winter in the garage thrown into a net and really just wanted to come out here and you know, and show that I could throw still. So Dang. felt really good to pound the board, and, and it was coming out of the hand really nice. Didn't know you've been doing that in the off season. I thought your arm was shot. Okay, no, he's got good. he's still got more in the tank. And two innings of solid relief uh, behind eight innings of work in total from Jake Sprinkle. Uh, now, obviously, you took uh, Aiden deep four times. I'm guessing your favorite was off of the fast pitch slider. Oh, oh yeah. Is he is he the uh, single person you love hitting homers off of in this league? I don't think there's a yeah. There's not a, another no comparison. person in this league that I would put up on his level. Uh, he's tough to hit. I mean, and that's that's yeah. more of a, out of respect to his talent level, um, but also the tie-in with with him being my nephew. So yeah, always feels good to to see him. You know, eat us up for a few innings and then take him deep like that was pretty fun. It's a family affair here at the Dirt Yard. Uh, but uh, what is there anything? I'll wrap up with the question. Is there anything else you want to plug upcoming uh, about CCW now that night one is in the books? Right. Hope you guys enjoyed night one. Um, we, we, you know, the weather held off. I think it was meant to be. So just kind of follow us on all the platforms, TikTok, Twitch. Um, we'll be here all year. And like Rudy's probably told you, we're trying to brush this stream stuff up 
and uh, you know really figure it out. So I think you guys are going to enjoy the ride this year, and it's going to be a you know a really exciting season. All right, you heard it from himself, Commissioner Brendan Dudas, Game One MVP. Had to work through struggles facing the lefty in Game Two, but he got his revenge later on. We'll be back here tomorrow night, uh, May Fourth at six o'clock for Pork Pistols and the Eight Ball. Same spot right here at the Dirt Yard. Enjoy the rest of y'all's evening.